Hello, my name is Cordia Pugh, and I want to thank you for allowing me to speak to you about our community garden, the Hermitage Street Community Garden in Chicago's South Side. Gardening isn't just about what you plant, but what you grow. That means, of course, growing food, like peppers and tomatoes that we share with each other and with our neighbors. But it also means growing friendship, building community, creating a safe haven in a part of the city where many people are afraid to spend time with their children and families outdoors. Our Hermitage Street Community Garden is in Chicago's Inglewood neighborhood, a community that was victimized last year with 56 murders, many of them of young people. I just got a call from our alderman yesterday. She said our garden is a catalyst for peace in the community. It's just been in place one season, but it has already become the heart and soul of our neighborhood. It's a place where young and old work together, a green place that connects our community. When we began in the spring of 2011, these three vacant lots were a jungle, piled with trash and appealing only to the local gangs and drug dealers. We cleared the land by hand, built the raised beds, and hauled in soil and compost ourselves. We got permission to farm the land from the landowner, a local nonprofit called Growing Home. And we got soil, other supplies, and training in garden organizing from Open Lands, a nonprofit that supports community open space. By midsummer, we had to jump back to get out of the way of those tall tomato and okra and bean plants. We've also pitched in to help an elderly widow next door repair her roof and insulate her windows. And we've helped a friend overcome his drug addiction to the distraction of being involved in the garden. Diabetes is also common in our neighborhood, and the gardeners are helping spread the word about healthy food that they're growing. With your support, we could build nine new raised beds that are wheelchair accessible, buy some low stools for some of our senior gardeners, and get some more tools with long handles so we don't have to bend over to do their weeding. Our lead gardener, in fact, Mr. Ernie Reynolds, is 80 years old. He's still growing strong, and we want to keep him that way. We're also hoping to add to the money we've already raised to build an open-sided shelter where we can gather to share fellowship throughout the gardening season. Thank you for appreciating our garden. We invite each of you watching this video to become our partners too and help us keep this garden going and growing. And if you're ever in Chicago, do stop by the Hermitage Garden and share some homegrown food and Chicago hospitality.